What's going on guys? It's Game Over HD back at it again and welcome back to some more Subnautica. So the last time we played this was about a week ago and since then I was cheating. I realized that I did a lot of murder that I should have probably brought on camera. So I just so I decided to restart on a new world. It's still gonna be in the same season, however, it's just gonna be on a new world. And as always, something went wrong with my recording. So um, and I did all this legit, and I'm serious, I'm doing this all legit. I have not cheated once since the series started. If you guys want, you guys can look inside my, uh, storage here. And you can see that I got a lot of this stuff here. I got all that stuff. And I just went on a freaking endeavor with my Seamoth. Because little did I freaking know that when I went to the Mushroom Kingdom, there is the Moon Pool. And I unlocked the moon unlocked. I unlocked the moon pool. So now I have the moon pool in my grass. Now what we need to do is we need to go find the Cyclops fragments. Now with that being said, I have to go to the mountain biome, which I'm not really looking forward to. But I need to finish my job at the at the Mushroom Kingdom because that is where the the rest of the Cyclops fragments lay. And for a lot of you guys who don't play Subnautica or just watch videos on it, let me tell you, Reapers are terrifying. As far because I've seen actually footage of them, but I've never really experienced what they look like. Like I've seen video or pictures of them, I should say, and they look pretty terrifying. And for those of you guys who don't play Subnautica or and just watch videos on it. So Nautica is a lot scarier when you're playing the game. It's like when you're watching it, it's kind of not that scary because I mean you're watching someone play. You're not really doing it yourself. Wait, what is this? Modification station. I need two, what? I already scanned one of those. When did I do that? Doesn't matter. <gasps> I don't care. Come on! Come on! Come on! There's one of those. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Why do I feel like I should not go that way? Maybe because it's the right thing to do. Hey, Peeper. Man. Oh. Go, 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 go. There's two, there's two. Get in. Need one more. I think that might be it right there. Nope. Reaper buddy. Hey. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Where's, there you are. I'm outie, I'm outie, I'm outie, I'm outie. Plus, we have to go to the mountain biomes. So, with that being said, we're gonna die. Like, if I'm not careful, we're gonna die. Because for those of you guys who know anything about Subnautica, the mountains are, like, the worst place to go. It makes you so on edge. Plus, you never know when a reaper is just gonna say, Hey, buddy, how you doing? You wanna buy a cupcake? You never know. For those of you guys who just play Sonotica or watch videos on it, you guys don't know, like, what it's like to be inside the water. Like, the ocean is, like, the scariest thing in existence. And for the fact that we're on an alien world, there's horrors beyond my imagination. I mean, we saw that in the last episode. Like, there's just so much going on around here that it's like you just don't know what's out here. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Still nothing. These old Terra ships, they run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. What for help? They pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week. To reach your position, do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. We'll see what the long range scan picks up in the meantime. The charger's gonna have us wasting our profit margin running our errands for all terror. Okay, so the sunbeam just called us again. Okay, and it's turning daytime. Thank God. Alright, I'm gonna need to pack, pack some water for the trip. Come here, butterfish. Come 
I mean, to be honest, I don't think we're gonna get very far. Like, I gotta be so careful going to the mountains. Because I know, I've seen videos. This is how I know how to get the Cyclops. And I've seen videos on it. It's like the most on-edge thing there is in the game. I'm gonna I'm pack this extra water with me. We're gonna do, we're gonna pull this off, you guys. We're gonna pull it off. And if we don't, you can uh, rape me for all I care. I don't care. Do what you wish. God, why am I doing this to myself? There it is. There it is. We're at the mountains. Okay. This now means don't be an idiot, Squins. Be very careful. Detecting a massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Be freaking careful. My heart is pumping, you guys. Oh, here. Actually, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna go to the gun. I'm gonna go to the gun real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a breather. Cause right now I'm so on edge. Hey, you freaking pricks! Go away. And to be honest, I don't feel like I want to be here. But we're here already. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, because if I were to get attacked by a reaper at any given point, I have my seamoth still intact. Okay, because I really don't want to have to make another one of those things. But seeing how we're already here, and I don't know where the Reaper is at. Speaking of which, where are the textures on this thing? Oh, su su. Well, this is convenient. <laughs> oh, hey there, buddy. Careful, squint. I'm gonna stay close. I'm gonna stay real close. I'm gonna be mindful of my thoughts, Padawan. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm grasping my nuts so hard right now. Okay, Warper. No, you just teleported. I don't know where you went. Mr. Warper. Dun dun dun. Oh god. You Reaper. <whistles> you down here somewhere, buddy? This looks like the chasm of death. People told me they, they rolled down the mountain. She came rolling down the mountain when she came. Okay, as long as I know where the Reaper is, I will be fine. But I don't. Which is precisely freaking why I'm having a nervous. Oh, he's right freaking there! Go, 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 go! You better eat my shorts, Reaper. No. No! Game run down the mountain when she came. Oh, crap. Nope, nope, nope. No, I'm not getting stuck in here. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Starvation imminent. I'm about to be eaten! I'm about to be eaten alive! Came running down the mountain when she came. I'm outie, I'm outie, I'm outie. Go, 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 go. You know, I'm kind of on edge today, so I really don't want to deal with the Reaper. I saw him and I booked. So now we know what he looks like. Is he following me? I don't care, I'm swimming. Next episode, I definitely will be going back though. Cause right now, like, I have- I just have too much heart pressure. I might need to take a little bit of a break. Because when I- I- I've never seen a reaper. And when he saw me, I was like, nope. I'm outie. See, that- that's why I was staying next to the mountains, cause I didn't know where he was. And when I saw him, I knew I gotta get out of here, because I don't know if he was gonna follow me cause he saw me. Or what was gonna happen. Either way, he was gonna eat my shorts. 
Says you I'm out of food, so Hey, lucky me, right? But anyway, I'm gonna take a bit of a break uh, for a couple minutes because I'm like really like tense and like building up tense. I will be back when I'm off my break. Alright you guys, I've been on a break, it's been about two hours. Um, and I finally feel ready to go. Uh. So, now that we've seen the Reaper for the first time, I feel that we're gonna die. But first, I need to get some food. So come here, here, come here. Boomerang. You're my buddy now. I need you in my life, give me food. Uh, come here, come here, come here, Reaper. Anyway. So, what we need to do now, though, is we need to go to the back to the floating islands because we need to get uh, base building materials. Because we're going to be building our base in this episode, too. Because... Hold on. Okay then. Not really what I wanted to hear, but I mean it's okay. I mean I'm I'm lost and I almost got eaten by a fish. But that's okay. I mean I think we can all live here together. I'm gonna go ahead and repair this thing because can't let it die tonight. It's too beautiful. All right, here we are again in this tiny freaking hellhole. Come on. There we go. Need a blueprint acquired. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this. I already read that, but we're doing good. I'll take that. Need a blueprint acquired. Huh? Huh? Oh, see. I don't think I unlocked that. Oh, did I? I don't know. Huh? Oh, but thank God it's huh? daytime. Because huh? now huh? I can see. Huh? Alright, what are you? Uh. I don't remember getting here. Um, hey buddy. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that bulkhead too. I need you. Man, you take forever to scan. Jeez. Oh, what do you want, buddy? Need a blueprint acquired. You want drugs? I can't give them to you, man. I wish I could have. Huh? Oh yes, the retard uh, chamber. That's me. Keep checking that. So I'm still infected. Huh? Is there ever gonna be a time that I'm not infected? Hey, what's in here? Water. Don't mind if I do. My inventory is full. And I need food. Ah, oh, come on, Simo. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're gonna need a new power cell for this baby later. And I'm getting kind of tired. It's about one o'clock in the morning now. I've been recording for almost about three hours. Because I've been taking a break for about two hours, so it's been about five hours since I started this video, and about three hours of me just playing this game, so. I'm getting really tired. Um, so I might call it a night. Um, I still have to edit this, so. But we did get quite a bit done. First of all, we did get all the. We did quite. Quit. We did get quite a few of the Cyclops engine stuff. We got one of those. And then we got all the other Cyclops blueprints. So all we need is two more engines. 
And we ended up seeing a Reaper for the first time, which, in, re in retrospect, I ended up shading my pants a little bit. <laughs> and then we got all the, the base building stuff, and we accidentally found the modification station. Which now, I know, is in the, mo in the mushroom forest. So, with that being said, we are going to be rich. We are going to build the best base ever laid in this planet. And my nipples are diamond. Sheesh. But, with great base building requires a lot of resources. And that's what I'm going to have to manage. I'm going to have to get a lot of resources in order to build the base. And I'm probably going to be doing that all off camera because I don't really want to do that on camera. That's just really boring. And as much as I say I hate doing stuff off camera, I have to do it. So, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game one more time. Uh, wait, hold on. There's a message. Let me see it. Signal location okay, it's from LifePod 13. I don't PDA. care. Alright, anyway. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do know we did get a lot done. And, um, I want to see more out of this series. I think this series has a lot more potential, especially the fact that we're not even cheating anymore. So, I think it has a lot more potential. And, I hope you guys are enjoying it. You guys really do seem to enjoy this particular series. And it seems like the watch time on the series is also very good. So, I want to thank you guys for that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to smash that like button. And as always, game.